to do a super quick hair tutorial. I hope this is helpful. It's just so easy, so quick um, for, well now I cut my hair really short. It's still like a medium-ish length and um, I've just, you know, played around with it enough to kind of figure out how curling it works the best and the fastest way to do that. So if I'm not letting my hair, you know, go natural, then this is the hairstyle that I'm doing, hands down. So right now I did shower, blow dry my hair last night. Um, I like to use, I wanted to mention the Revlon hair dryer. Now this is a dupe for the really expensive Dyson hair dryer. Um, this was probably less than $30 and I absolutely love it. I never thought I'd be a fan of the, um, like brush hair dryers, but it actually works really well and it works really fast. So I do like to let my, if I have the time, I like to let my hair air dry for a few hours before I use this. This isn't the best on like absolutely soaking wet hair. It'll still work, but, um, it just takes a lot longer. So I do like to let my hair air dry until it's about 85, 90% dry and then use this and it gives you the best results. Um, and it, I'm not kidding. It works. So dries your hair so quickly. So I have it in this crazy bun. Let's take it down. Now <laughs> I like to put it up in the bun because it does give me a lot of volume, but you know, obviously it's crazy. So I brush it out. I like to do a middle part, but part your hair however you like it. Side part, middle part, whatever you like. So the hot iron I like to use is by Hot Tools. This one does have the clamp, but I am actually just gonna be wrapping my hair. So whether you have a clamp or a wand, um, it works either way. And you can use whatever size you like. Um, I just wanna mention too, my hair is naturally very coarse and thick and it holds a curl very well. So I'm very lucky. If your hair is not that way, I highly recommend um, putting in some kind of mousse, even you know a little bit of texturizing spray really helps. This one is amazing by Dry Bar, the triple sec. Spray this all over your hair before you um, curl it or even just hairspray, whatever you have, hairspray, mousse, something to give your hair texture to grip onto that is gonna hold that curl a little bit better. I really don't even need to put anything in mine, but if your hair is fine or super, super straight, um, I highly recommend doing that. All right, so how I start the curl. I do like to section off. I do about three sections. My hair is a lot shorter than it used to be. We're gonna go three sections, so doesn't need to be perfect whatsoever. I like to go probably like an inch above my ear. Go to the back, twist and clip. Swish and flick, twist and clip. Okay, <laughs> I'm losing my mind during this quarantine, I swear. Taking about, I mean, I like to take big chunks. I don't like to go too thin because um, again, I want it to be very just like loose, effortless, voluminous curls so you know it doesn't need again the sections don't need to be perfect at all so this is about a two three inch section and now this is the part where it takes practice I know I've done this for years so it becomes very easy to me but I know it doesn't for a lot of people so take your section you want to take the curling iron or wand doesn't matter upside down Okay, very important. You don't want to go like this, plus it makes it way harder to try to figure out how to curl around. So you want to go upside down and then place it behind because we're going to curl outwards. Now, if this is your first time, a lot of these things you can buy gloves or just wear a glove to protect your hand because um, this is hot. You don't want to burn yourself, but if you're careful, you'll be okay. So upside down and then you want to take it and you want to curl it outwards and I leave about an inch out at the end if you can see that and you just want to hold for a little bit I don't know why I shake it a little bit but I do 
And then I like to let it fall into my hand. Kind of do a little scrunch, 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 let it cool down a little bit and then let it go. Okay, does that make sense? Again, you want to upside down, away from the face on the first one. Leave about an, you know, half inch to an inch out. Hold, hold, hold. Now this part is totally optional, but I do think it helps. Let the curl very carefully fall into your hand. Give it a little scrunch, because this is so good. If your hair does not um, hold a curl, scrunch like this. You can even spray it with some hairspray and then let it go. And it's a little extra step because you're going to do that with every curl you do. But if you hold it and you spray it with hairspray and kind of let that curl cool down while you scrunch it with the hairspray and you let it go, your, your curl is going to hold a lot better and it's going to be a lot more defined. So on the pieces that are closest to your face, you always want to go away, but then you're going to alternate each one. So this one I curled away. Now I'm going to take the next section and I'm going to curl it the opposite towards my face. And this is going to keep the curls from not, if I curled them all away, they're all just going to kind of clump together and form like a big Shirley Temple vibe. But I want them to be, you know, separate and PC. And I think that's what looks the best, especially on shorter hair. Um, you can do it with longer hair too, but... I just never used to until I had shorter hair and I now I really notice the difference. So it's the same thing, you're just curling towards your face on the second one. So upside down, and now we're gonna put it at the front and curl, I'm sorry this cord is in my face, towards the face. And then again, you can leave up to, you know, half inch to an inch out. Hold for a little bit. Probably like five to 10 seconds. Let it fall into my hand and let it cool down in my hand for a few more seconds and then let it go. So these two curls aren't gonna wanna combine with each other because they're going in opposite directions. I hope that that makes sense. But now we're just gonna do literally the rest of our head that way. So when I go and take the next section back here, I'm gonna go away from my face again And then I'm gonna go on this side. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start with the front and go away from my face, upside down and around, and jow, hold, leave. And then we're gonna do it one more time in this section. It's the last piece. I'm gonna go towards my face at the front and around. Sorry, I'm trying to do this in a camera. <laughs> so the bottom section is done. And as you can see, it doesn't look like much yet, but it's very just loose and very PC. And that is what we want. That's what, how I like it. It's going to look really good when we do the rest of our head. So again, if your hair does not hold a curl very well, you want to really hairspray it right now. I'm actually going to put a little bit of this um, texturizing spray that I mentioned, the triple sec. And just give it a little, <laughs> little spray, not too much, but just so we know it's really gonna get PC and hold. All right, we're just gonna let that be back there and then we're gonna take down and do another section. So take down that top. Now I'm really gonna just do everything besides like the crown of my head, the bangs up here. And we are gonna do the twist and clip. And now we're gonna do the same exact thing with this like section that I haven't done yet. This is very, you know, easy. It's more of a thing of getting down the whole motion of holding the barrel upside down, 
and wrapping and going away and then towards, away and then towards, and then going to this side, away and then towards, away and then towards, and holding and scrunching and hairspraying and all that. But, you know, with practice, it does get very fast. I can do this in like 10 minutes. So it is, you know, very simple, but it's just kind of the motion getting it down. All right, I'm gonna speed this part up and do this middle section. Then you left in the dust Unless I step by ya You're the sunflower You're the sunflower I'm at a party I don't wanna be at And I don't ever wear a suit and tie ya Wondering if I could sneak at the back Nobody's even looking me in my eyes Then you take my hand, finish my drink, say Thank you, next to next Thank you, next to next Thank you, next I'm so, I'm so Me, e, e. Ooh, ooh, ooh I'm the only one of me Baby, that's the fun of me e, e, e. Just because it's over doesn't mean it's really ooh, over ooh, And if I think it over, maybe you'll be coming over again. I think I got every piece It feels like I did and I'm gonna spray it again. Ooh. Give it a little, little scrunch. Now it's time to finish it off with the top section and it's gonna be the same thing. It's just these two small tech sections at the very crown and I do like to curl all of this away from my face. I think it just gives a better look um, because if I've done it before where I curl this one away and then this one towards and then they just kind of always stay separated and then it ends up just not looking good. So for the very top, you know, just these top two little sections, I like to curl these away and that's just how I do it. But then all the rest is PC and gives it um, the good volume. So um, we're just going to do it the same exact way. I'm just going to split each of these into two and curl them away from my face the same way we have been doing it. Another little tiger tidbit is um, a lot of times I'll have like the crazy flyaways at the very top too. And I just like to take the wand and you have to be so careful. I have burned myself plenty of times, so be careful. But you can kind of just almost use it as like a flat iron and just flatten those top babies out. And I don't know, it just kind of helps um, get rid of that frizz and push everything down. And then we'll go in and curl. So that's just a little tip. I find that the heat does help um, get those frizzy baby hairs down. And then the other thing is um, at the frame of the face too, I don't, I start the curl kind of a little bit farther, farther down the section. I'm not curling like all the way up here. Um, cause I like it to be very like soft and subtle around the face. So I do drag it down a little bit and then I start about midway, but again, away, keeping the end out, same thing. Why men great till they gotta be great? Don't text me, tell it straight to my face Truth hurts, needed something more exciting Bum bum be dum, baby, you know it's obvious I'm a sucker for you All right, I'm gonna give it one last um, spray with my texturizing spray Again, you can use hairspray, whatever you have Give it a good scrunch, do a flip. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and now we kind of want to just mess with it with our fingers until it looks the way we want. So I like to just kind of run my fingers through it. Now that it's, you know, cool, you really want it to cool down first and then once you get the texturizer hairspray in there um, and the curls are pretty set, that's why you wanna wait till the very end. You really want everything to be cooled down um, before you run your fingers through. And my ends 
always need a little help. They're always looking a little dry, a little brittle. So um, I recommend putting in some kind of serum or moisture or something. And I love this hair oil. Mine's almost gone. It's by Way. That's how you pronounce it. And I love it. So a little goes a long way. I literally do one pump. And this can make your hair very greasy, very fast. So you want to keep it away from your roots. And I just like to scrunch it into the ends. It just adds, you know, some shine and it helps it from looking so dry. All right, guys, this is the final hair look. I think it came out super pretty and, you know, just kind of not perfect, just kind of, you know, effortless, beachy, you know, I woke up like this but I didn't, you know what I'm saying? And it's, I promise it's so easy once you get the hang of it with the curling iron, this is how I do my hair all the time. And then if you take care of it and you hit it with some dry shampoo, um, this style can last you a few days. So that's what I really love about it. I really hope you guys like this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know if you try it. And please do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you are updated with all of my future videos and it just really supports my channel. So I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.